right, so Donnie brought me to an undisclosed location with Mike and Wes. We're about to go inside. I wanted to show you a little bit of the outsides here. If it's as pretty as this outside, I can't wait to get inside. Let's check it out. Walking through the valley of the shadows. I let them tell me who I was. I've been talking, talking myself up onto the gallows. Every time I try to walk away, I couldn't make it through another day. I think you see me being up in a field battle. I was trying to make it on my own, my way. You were knocking on the door that I it was right in front of me I was lost but now I'm free And I was blind but now I see That your love is better than life Your love is better than life But I ain't turning back now It's never so amazing So I can do like 6 and then 20 and then do 1 Exactly, All right. yes Leather Either you know or you don't know. I love the truth, and yeah, now I'm in a new light. Forever stars a day won't stop now. Your face shining on me, walking in the truth that set me free. It's all I need if it ever only for me. But who could stand again? So I'm going to show you my little cheat for doing a tuck and pleat type of stitch without cutting different strips and sewing them together. What I do is I'm going to mark a center line. I'm going to stitch on this center line, fold it over, and stitch it from the back side. Now this works. This is great for if you're just putting two pieces together. I don't have to worry about allowing or anything. If you're going to do multiple tuck and rolls, you're going to want to add allowance. I'll, let me go ahead and do this and show you what it looks like. And that's pretty much it. It gives you the de desired effect that you're going for. If you want to continue to do this, once again, just make sure you allow for allowance. Walking through the valley of the shadows I let them tell me who I was I've been talking, talking myself up onto the gallows Every So this particular seat calls for half-inch uh, foam padding on the face of it. And it is going to have a French seam which means I'm gonna to have to take this leather and half inch padding and sew it together. Um, it makes it very tight to get through some of uh, the double seams where the two pieces of material come together. One little trick for that is I'll put a quick little stitch to hold the flaps open. That way when I'm sewing it together, it doesn't fold over on top of itself, making the seam extremely thick. I thin it out as much as possible. Let me show you that real quick. So that's all that it needs right there and as you can see it's holding the seams open now when I go to sew the boxing on it will keep these separated so this little part here for a new trimmer can be slightly confusing because there's three pieces going together one which is a tail Obviously, you have to sew it to where everything has a finished edge. I'll show you what it looks like all finished. When it's done, it has an inside piece, an outside piece, and a piece sewn in between the two pieces for the tail strap. But everything's finished when it's all done. What I like to do, even for myself, it's, like I said, it is a little confusing. I like to pre-lay it out on here to make sure that everything's going to be sewn correctly. And then I kind of flip it and take a peek at it before I actually sew it. 
Now that I have these laid out, I'll go ahead and sew them up. And if they slide off, I already kind of know the arrangement that they go. Now, for a brand new trimmer, you may want to staple that in place so it doesn't slide around on you and get out of order. Let's go ahead and sew this baby together. So I just want to take a quick second to say I'm definitely in Commerce, Georgia. I'm with Complete Upholstery. Today is Friday. Look where we're at. This isn't just lunch. We actually worked really hard all week long. We've got some more Pepsi and some little bit of food coming. But we worked all week long, and he decided to take us out this Friday and show us a good time. This has been one amazing stop, and I just wanted to say thank you to Donnie. Uh, another thing I wanted to make a quick mention to some of the other trimmers out there, if you see the two young gentlemen at the table, these guys are hired over the summer to come in and do some great work and teach them a skill that us trimmers really need to have taught. So that was such a great idea. I just wanted to say that. And we had the chance while we're all sitting around the table, I wanted you to see everybody's faces of the people that I've been working with. And I appreciate this experience. <laughs> 